Hello everyone and welcome to our WordPress training uh, tutorials from WordPressTrainingEssentials.com. Um, in this tutorial I'll be talking to the um, newbies to WordPress, the, the beginners. Um, and basically when you get a WordPress set up, WordPress site set up, um, you have what they call front end and back end. Um, right now currently this is the back end and then what other people see, what your users see and visitors see that is called the front end right here right so let's just go back to the back end so this site is a is called homestudioequipmenttips.com and it basically teaches people how to start a recording studio um, from their home um, but as you can see um, there's a lot of menu stuff here on the side um, a lot of stuff I've added um, that's the cool thing about WordPress you can add um, free and premium plugins to your website to enhance it and to make it cooler um, but I'll just go through the basics so you understand um, the back end of WordPress so this first tab we're on is the dashboard dashboard and it um, it gives you some simple information you can see WordPress news and stuff I usually don't use it at all um, unless it's for this uh, Q form plugin that I use I like having that up there um, Right here, it has updates and then a couple other, like this is this theme options here. So you're going to have to update your site and update your plugins. Um, and this is the newest WordPress site um, so far this year, 2013, almost 2014. Um, so this site's completely updated. And if you do have a WordPress site, I would encourage um, you to update it all the time. And if you haven't seen my WP Remote video, it, it's an app that helps you manage your WordPress site and update all of it. Um, let me show you that real quick. You just go back here, WP Remote, you sign up, it's free, and then you can manage all your sites and it tells you what, how many updates you need and what site need to, which site needs to be update, updated. Oh my goodness. Okay, so back to the WordPress backend. So right here you have posts. What in the world is posts? You, you might be thinking posts or blog posts so this is how I manage all my blog posts for this website right so these are all the posts that I've published right and you basically just add new and it's so simple you just add a title and write your post and then to add an image you do set fe featured image and upload an image from your computer from your desktop or, or anything else like that so um, so that's what what that's what posts are, and posts are good for SEO because every time you write articles, it, they become searchable, so people can find your site easier, depending on how good you are with the SEO and, and blogs. Um, here, this tab is media. So this is all the photos in the website that I have uploaded. All these are photos, and I as you can see, I have nine pages. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you just add new. And then you can select from your comp your desktop to add new um, new photos or videos or any any kind of media. Um, so you got the library, add new, and then you can add from server if you, this is a plugin I've added in, um, and that basically makes it so I can add big files to my um, to my WordPress media library. So links, this is important for SEO in the future. Oh, just kidding. Um, well, it is, but this is not exactly what I was thinking. This just shows me the links um, that I you like support links and stuff. Pages. This is simple. Um, you want to create a new page? You simply every everything will be up here. Add new up here, so you can see all my pages, blog posts, you know, um, or pages on certain things. So comments, so WordPress is meant to be social. I don't like to allow comments. So if people try to comment or spam me, which mostly the comments are, this is where you're gonna manage that and, and delete or put things into trash and spam. Um, products and orders, this is a plugin that I've added in. So this is not one of the um, default um, menus here for um, WordPress. It's an iCell app. It's called iCell, and it's a plugin for WordPress. Qform is a plugin as well. You can do custom forms without 
knowing how to code them. 